The People's Health Care Act introduced by the province earlier this week is long, vague, and promises to put an end to hallway health care, largely by amalgamating 20 health care agencies into one super agency. But some of the agencies the government plans to merge services millions of people have become the gold standards of care, namely the Trillium Gift of Life Network, which coordinates organ donation and transplantation. Also, Cancer Care Ontario, the government's principal cancer advisor. Those two agencies are, uh, I would say, the envy of the world. Our organ donation, uh, Trillium Gift of Life, uh, is very successful, been very effective, uh, and is a great organization. Cancer Care and Care Ontario, exactly the same thing. Right? It's kind of, kind of the, the envy of the world. We have an excellent cancer system. Our outcomes uh, are, are, are very good. Uh, there's constant improvement. When you, the concerns are valid. I don't think it bodes well for folks that are uh, for, that are waiting for services or that have been receiving services or going to be needing services, whether that's through Cancer Care Ontario or, or whether that's the, uh, the tr Trillium uh, Gift of Life Network. I, I'm, I'm very, very concerned and I'm not hearing from the government uh, any assurances uh, that those uh, services are still going to be available or that, for example, with uh, the, the uh, Trillium Gift of Life, Net Life Network, that people who are waiting for uh, organ transplants are, are not going to be disrupted through this process and have their uh, their procedures and their transplants uh, postponed or or uh, you know taking longer on the waiting list than necessary. But Health Minister Christine Elliott says the super agency and the 30 to 50 Ontario healthcare groups that will be created through the Act will be tailored to deal with very specific populations. Doing the work, for example, that Trillium does, mm -hmm. something that spans across the yes. province and the country. You're asking a small little organization to handle such a big file. Well, most of the uh, local Ontario health teams will be based upon geography. We are anticipating 30 to 50 of them um, at maturity. Yeah. They will be responsible for populations yeah. of up to about 300,000 people. But there will also be some Ontario health teams that are going to focus on specific areas provincially. Transplant to patients, for example, children with medically complex needs. Cancer Care Ontario would not provide a comment on the potential impact the bill will have on cancer treatment in the province. But Dr. Jeffrey Zaltzman, the Chief Medical Officer of Transplant at Trillium, says there's nothing in the bill that he thinks should give patients concern. Trillium has always, uh, uh, since its creation, has always tried to implement best, best practices with respect to organ and tissue donation and transplantation. And, and, uh, I don't see that uh, changing in any way uh, in, in the future, uh, regardless of uh, what the uh, health system trend is embedded in. Still, Zoltzman acknowledges there are potential redundancies that could result in job losses, although the details of the government plan aren't clear yet. The bill passed first reading yesterday and is expected to be debated in coming weeks.